Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the routing. Routing is one of the essential concepts in Laravel. Routing allows you to route all your application requests to its appropriate controller. All Laravel routes are defined in the route file, which are located in the routes directory. These files are automatically loaded by the framework. Okay. Let's see route file. Go to the Laravel project and here is a routes folder and inside the route folder there are two uh, files web.php and uh, api.php file. Okay. The web.php file defines routes that, that are for your web interface these routes are assigned the web middleware group which provides feature like session, state and CSR protection. The routes defined in web.php may be accessed by entering the defined routes URL in your browser. The routes in api.php are stateless and are assigned uh, the API middleware group. Okay. Let's create a route. So open api.php file and just press enter and right here route column column get and here first um, right here uri let's say users and here write callback function and curly bracket start and close and terminate this line inside this method we just return a string hi user ok now save it this is a URI and this is the callback method and whenever this uh, this route will be called then this callback method uh, will be exit executed and return this text okay so let's check it's working or not so open postman postman is uh, one of the most powerful powerful tools used in restful api testing all right now type here localhost column 8000 and uh, api api is the prefix for the api routes and uh, it is a default for api routes in laravel so just type here api and uh, route name route URI name which is uh, users and uh, make sure method is a get and click on send button okay now you can see here hi user okay so it means route is working so this is the way uh, in which you can uh, register any routes okay we can also pass a parameter with the route laravel provides two ways of capturing, capturing the past parameter required parameter and the optional parameter so let's see required parameter first so passing the required parameter go to the route and uh, modify the route just type here forward slash uh, and curly bracket inside the curly bracket just a type parameter name let's say parameter name is name okay and uh, here in callback method just type dollar name and uh, in return statement just remove this user give a space and uh, type dot dot uh, is a concatenation operator in laravel and just a type here user sorry name okay now save it and route okay all right test this route switch to the postman and uh, just pass here a name 
as a parameter just to say name is Jennifer and press enter okay see here this is the result when I remove the parameter okay it uh, throwing some error check you can see okay uh, it it will throw not found error okay it means required parameter must be passed here otherwise it will gives error all right now see optional parameter for that we have to add simply question mark here after a parameter okay just to simply type a question mark and in callback method here type equal and null all done now save the file and uh, switch uh, switch to uh, switch to postman and just type here forward slash and uh, first uh, first of all type here name just jennifer and press enter it's working now remove this parameter and now press enter and you can see it's still working so in this way you can add required or optional parameter in laravel all right sometimes you may need to uh, register a route that responds to multiple http verbs you may do so using the match method so for that go to the fpa.php file and just create a route with the match http verbs so i am just typing here route and colon colon match and inside the array just to type here get post and here is the URI suppose test match okay now comma here is the callback function so just type function and then curly bracket now terminate this with semicolon and just one thing is more just passed here request dollar request and just return here dollar arrow shine and type here method okay this statement shows which method are requested okay whenever we call this routes it will return which method are called okay which method are requested now save it switch to the postman and change it with this is the URI test match just type here test dash match now send you can see here get okay when I switch to change with post and now you can see here post okay so with match we can register a route that respond to multiple http words all right you may even register a route that respond to all http words using the any method let's see how can we write any http verbs so open api.php and just press enter and write here route colon colon any 
in right here test any okay and here is a callback function just to type request rq now curly bracket is start and close and in, at the end terminate the line with the semicolon and just return here a text requested requested method is an concatenation operator and dollar request arrow shine then method it will show it will show which method is requested okay now save it switch to the postman and uh, change the URI test any and just click on send button okay now <clears throat> you can see here requested method is post then we switch the another method just put and when click on send it will show requested method is put all right so in this way you can create any type of route so that's all about laravel routing so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching